Anyone who's familiar with Counter-Strike controls and equipment will be familiar with uh, Left 4 Dead. I've gone down the stairs. I'm going through the door. So um, with this kind of game, it's really important to play together. You can't play uh, sort of by yourself. And expect to last for very long. You really need to, to work together as a team. So one of the things is uh, people really need to know where you're looking, because that's also where you're shooting. So you have a flashlight, and you can tell a lot about what the other players are doing by it. Boomer. Hang on. Get that out of the way. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, I've fallen in the hole. So that's a smoker. Okay. So this is an urban environment that you play through. Our goal right now is to get to, get to a hospital. And then uh, at the top of the hospital, there's a rescue helicopter that'll take us away. But then of course, since this is a horror movie, the helicopter crashes. So if you play as a team, you can do much, much better than if you try to freelance. Safe house. So here's a safe house. So you get a bunch of information. This is a small percentage of the information that the director is actually gathering but it uses that to, to, to de make decisions about us, like how experienced are we, uh, uh, how much uh, it can throw at us in subsequent uh, attacks, et cetera. Uh, personally, uh, there's no real difference between the four characters. The, the differences are in the weapons you select and the, the equipment that you have. Um, I found though that when I play as Zoe, the girl, everybody else is healing me more often. 
So I tend to like to play a Zoe because I stay alive longer than that. Making, making sexism work to your advantage. Somebody hiding over there. Okay, I'm jumping down. Okay, I'm going down the stairs. There's a boomer down here. Come down the stairs over here. And there's a witch too. 